viewers, thanks for tuning in the Jerry Malloy Corvettes YouTube channel. And I promised you that there would be a separate review for the body. I have so here you go. It's a Hummer H2. Um, specifically, actually fit as on the uh, SCX axial SCX10 and. The SCX-10 has enough space to put the full interior kit in this car. This is actually really cool. You can get this in um, black too, but I just like the metallic red paint. It's actually too bright, actually a darker, really deep metallic red. Um, um, this is the cooler color of the two. Um, because you get these black bars and black bumpers, so red make it pop a little bit more. And um, it's got the full interior. We just take a look at the interior first. These are spring-loaded doors. Both both um, front doors are um, spring-loaded and could be opened. There are no windows or whatsoever. It's got a full interior with the Hummer steering, the full. You, you see there it's missing, missing the uh, shift knob. It's because it actually fell off. as a piece here. Just held on with two posts so I can put that back on. And these seats are really kind of leather sculpted in there. Um, with the full gauge pod stickers and full vents. There are these here, and see the speakers, the full door panel, and see over here with these with these um side kick plates with the painted silver on top of the pads. They are pretty thick plastic, so they are not. Um, they're not very easy to wreck these things, and um, comes with a custom rear. As you can see through these blue roofs and rear windows, that has a fully functioning speaker system at the back, right there. It's got all these wires um, right at the back. One is one is for the rear tail lights and LEDs and the other one is just for the speaker and the LEDs around the speaker. Just that actually fell in the interior because it actually held on by screws. The the whole interior is held on by these screws on the left and right and the screws at the back and here and here and if you remove them, the, the whole interior comes off. But again, it's got the full leather uh, sculpting there. It's, looks like a subwoofer, and it's got plentiful of chrome trim around them. And these nice windows outline in. Um, it's got a lot of detail work to it, that's for sure. It's got a front, uh, the signature Hummer steering with these um with these really kind of real looking um mirrors they could be folded they could be opened up and um coming up to the front we got the signature Hummer fascia with a brush guard on, on the front of the chrome bumper. These red fog lamps, but they don't have LEDs in them. The lights have LEDs are these two on each side and this one on the side. I am planning to paint this black um, just to make it more realistic, like the real Hummer. 
And the, I love these front windshield wipers. And I love the dual sunroofs. And the crossbar up top. They're really cool. And these, these are the um, body lines on the roof. And these are the kind of lights you have on top. Red overhead light on the rear as well. With these custom custom uh, translucent uh, plastic on here. And the real Hummer is actually black. But I would just leave it for red and orange just for the extra just for the extra touch of a custom look at the rear. Also in LEDs integrated at the back with light buckets with the license plate. Has a little tow thing here, but it's not real, it's not functional. Gas cap. This also has a integrated LED at the back there. Straight body panels with these silver painted door handles. Heavy fender flares. Hugely raised hood, as you can see, with the with these handles to open the hood itself with, with the intake or whatever that is. It's kind of like a grill type of thing. I don't know. Also, as a feature, you you notice. Oh, so it's got a speaker at the back, but how did I play the music? Well, look what's that written there. MP3 insert or so it's got the little plug there and you can plug in your phone or whatever and then this wire it's got four wire wires as I mentioned the back and then the front the one set of wires is for the front LEDs and the other set is for the integration in here it actually plays real mu music if you hook up the speaker wires and the integration of wires and it's got the real plug in there um, so it's actually really really cool with full silver and brown two-tone interior you see the cup holders in the middle you got the full navigation deal there with the air vents um, and knobs in the middle really really cool um, So, um, yeah, this is a really cool body. Um, I'll actually put the link in the info box so you can check, go check it out if you want. So, everybody, hope you enjoyed the review of the Hummer H2 body for the Axial SCX10. Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.